the way that John manhandled him was uh, it's it's wild because we all know Cyril Gon's uh, strength is obviously kickboxing. He's a really good striker, really good movement. Um, but and I know that I'm clearly I'm not a wrestling specialist either. But a couple times that we were clinched up when we fought because my plan wasn't like oh I got to go in there and wrestle him. I, I was better off looking for a big punch, but. Um, when we did tie up, I was like, oh, okay, this guy is, this guy is actually pretty fucking strong. You know, like sometimes people look like that and you don't know, you get a hold of them and you're like, oh, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, he physically is very, very strong. So the fact that Jones was able to just do that to him right off the bat was, uh, honestly, not only surprising, but it's wild to me. I, I spoke to Curtis Blades after that fight, and obviously Curtis is you know near the top of that division, and he basically thinks that like Cyril won't have enough time to kind of catch up to learn those skills to compete with those top top fighters. Do you do you believe that, or do you think that Curtis is maybe being a little bit hard on him? Uh, well, with Curtis's skill set, if if that were to happen to go on again, it would be from a guy like Curtis, right? Like he might, Curtis might not go for, for, for a submission or put himself in that place. Curtis likes to just ground and pound guys, just mash them when they're on the ground. In my opinion, and it, I've said this for quite a while, like Nganu has Blades' number. Mm-hmm. It happens. They're, they're, it's just that way. But I think that Blades is and probably has been the best heavyweight in the division for like quite a while, in my opinion. 